Jerry Craft has illustrated and written close to two dozen children's books and board games, but his latest work was a collaboration with his two teenage sons, Jalen and Aaron. The offenders saving the world while serving detention teaches kids about the negative effects of bullying. Welcome, Jerry, back to the show. Nice to have you here. My Quite pleasure. a collection you have. Yeah, I've been busy. Uh, talk to me a little bit about how you got started in writing children's books. You know, um, I always loved them. And I remember, you know, still as a kid having the Dr. Seuss, and, you know, it's amazing how many times you remember those things. It's true. You know? And um, I, I really wanted to, to add to that, and especially being an author of color, I wanted to have, um, you know, people that reminded me of people that I grew up with. Sure. And, Went to do books that my kids could read and be excited about. All right, in the latest book, um, you worked with your sons. Yes, absolutely. How did that happen? What did they say? I want to write a book with you, Dad? <laughs> well, you know what? It's funny because, um, you know, I always read them the stories first. So if sure. people send me a story and they say, hey, you know, Mr. Crawford wants you to illustrate this, I'm like, mm -hmm. sure. And I, I give it to them and I let them read it. And it's so funny because over the years, you know, they went from... You know, oh yeah, this is good. This, and then they got real critical, and they be oh, like, really? you know, yeah, you know, they, they, I don't really like that one as much. Or we could do this. So as I was working on the offenders, and I would read them parts of it, they'd say, yeah, can you read that part back? <laughs> no, I don't. I don't think he would say that. Kids don't talk like that. That's and I was like, you know, what better? I have my in. They would know. Right, they're my focus group. <laughs> I'm, they went from my focus group to actually co-writing. Now, why did you choose anti-bullying? Um, it's such a problem these days, and even on the way up here today, um, I was re listening on the radio about uh, the Miami Dolphins, the, the, oh, right. the bullying th thing there, and it's like, okay, now these are grown men, there's a football player mm -hmm. being bullied, so, you know, if that's a problem with him, imagine, you know, some of the schools and, and you know, different um, PTO meetings that I would attend, and it was just such a prevalent mm -hmm. problem, so I really wanted to do something that could kind of help kids. Sure. Uh, well, let's uh, set up the book for us, please, okay. The Offenders. It is the story of um, five kids who are kind of the bullies of the school, even though they don't really know that. Okay. Um, and I wanted to make it an adventure novel, so they get superpowers. Okay. But instead of turning into really cool, you know, Spider-Man, Superman, Batman kind of guys, they take on the characteristics of the kids that they pick on. Oh, so, for okay. example, the, the one kid who picks on a kid who's a little overweight, when he changes, he gets really, really big. The one girl who's like, you know, oh, you're so mousy and you need to speak up, she literally shrinks down to the size of a mouse. And the one that picks on the, the smart kids gets super smart, but mm -hmm. very physically uncoordinated. I see. Uh, that is Kimmy. She picks on the girls that are really tiny, you know, skinny. She gets like paper thin. And um, one of the kids that picks on kids with braces gets oh. these two great big metallic. Um, you learn what it's like, I guess, that they way, learn, right? It's the whole karma thing, absolutely. Um, and you do all the illustrations yourself. Yes. That's, that's pretty absolutely. incredible. Um, I guess, tell us, uh, Jerry, what you want readers to take away from the book. Well, there's a few things. One, I made it uh, with a, a really multicultural cast mm -hmm. because I know that in a lot of books, um, you know, especially African American and Latino characters are almost non existent. So I wanted to put that in. Sure. Um, and then with this, you know, one of the things is to, to get kids to realize that certain things that they may do that they think is okay, you know, when they talk about your, the intent versus the impact, you know, oh, I didn't mean to hurt his feelings, but if you embarrass someone in front of the entire school, or it's to the point where a kid doesn't uh, want to come to school even. Yeah, it's terrible. Yeah, and I, I don't think that kids really realize that, and I went to show them that there is a fine line between, oh, I'm just playing and really hurting yeah. someone's feelings. And you take that message out to schools. Yes, yes. I actually did a school um, in upstate New York not too long ago. Mm -hmm. I talked to like 900 kids. I had wow. a couple <laughs> of assemblies and I went to art classes and English classes. And, um, you know, they were like, okay, if you can keep them for a half hour, you know, without fidgeting. And we ended up talking for about an hour and you a half. You did? I'm, yeah. sure, well, I'm sure the pictures are so great, too. Yeah, I, I draw for them. You I did. hang out at recess. We visited detention, and I talked to some of the kids ah, there, which, very was, fitting. which was very funny. Yeah. Uh, Jerry, where can we find the books and more information on you? Um, it's available on, you know, Amazon and all the other oh, places and right? schools. Yeah, but uh, on my website, which is jerrycraft.net, that way both uh, my boys and myself can autograph it. So Perfect. That, that, that's where you get the really good copy. I love that. All right, the name of the book again is The Offender Saving the World While Serving Detention. Absolutely. Jerry, thanks for sharing the story with us. And stay with us. More Connecticut style after the break. We'll be right back.